Hello everyone. Today uh, I want to revise with you the exercises that you had as homework on Friday. I saw you had some difficulties. So I want to solve this once, uh, one more time with you. And then I will give you as homework exercise one from a uh, workbook. Okay, I will write it in Google Classroom uh, page and the exercises. Now let's have a look on exercise three. Uh, in this graph, there are given uh, three congruent triangles, as you see, they're equal to each other. And we have to describe the translations that send uh, this triangle, the first one, ABC, to DEF. Uh, DEF to ABC, it means the inverse translation, uh, GHI to DEF, and ABC to GHI. So let's take them in order. If you remember, uh, to explain or to show the translation between one figure to another, we have to take one of the vertices and then see what is its movement, horizontal and vertical. So A is translated to which point? To D. Okay. A is translated to D. They correspond to each other. The movement that A uh, do to go to D is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it is five squares right and one down. Okay, so we have five right. Sorry. Okay, five right. And one down. Okay, so this is the answer for A. D, E, F to A, B, C. Now we have to look the, uh, the inverse. So D goes to A. We said first we have to give the horizontal movement. So D to A goes five units to the left this time. Okay, so B, it goes five units to the left. Five left and one up. Okay, so now we have the the inverse movement of this figure. Okay, let's check for E. E goes to B. Again, it will go one, two, three, four, five to the left, one up. F goes to C. So one, two, three, four, five, and one up. So five left and one up. Now let's check uh, this one, G H I to D E F. So again, if we take a look, G goes to D, so the movement will start from G. Horizontally, it is one, two, three, four units, and up it is three. So we have four, right? And three, up. Let's check if this one is true for the other points too. H goes to E, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, it is right, and I goes to F, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So this movement is right for all the points. Now we have to explain the translation or describe the translation between A, B, C to G, H, I. It means this triangle has go in this position, has moved in this position. Again, A corresponds to G, so A moves one right and one, two, three, four down. Okay, so I have one right. E. And four down. So this one is the movement. Let's check for others. B 
goes to eight. So one, two, three, four, C, one to the right and four down. So these ones are the translations that are performed in these triangles. Now, the question that you had more difficulty is exercise five, when you have to rotate the figure in a given point. So uh, this triangle, this right triangle, will be rotated according to the point O, to the center O, clockwise 90 degrees. Now, I, I draw one more time the figure here. So here I have the point O. This figure will be rotated according to the point O, clockwise means it will be rotated in this direction. Okay, so to perform rotation, of course, we'll need protractor. Okay, I have to take the protractor. Let's make it smaller. Now, let's name uh, the triangle O, A, B, let's say. A, B. It will be rotated in this direction. So as I said, point O will remain same since this one is the center of rotation. It, if you rotate it, it will remain at the same place. It is the same point. If you rotate in the same place, to rotate point A, I have to take the distance or to draw the line from the center to point A, okay? And then I put the protector and measure the angle 90 degree. So OA is the line from OA in this direction clockwise. I have to measure the angle 90 degree and 90 degrees here. It means the point A is in this direction and the distance that it has from O must be same. Okay, we must keep the same distance. It is three units away from O. So it will come three units away in 90 degree direction here. It, the point will be exactly here. So we can write that point A1 will be here. Okay, A1. The same thing is repeated for B. First, I have to put the protector on the side OB. Okay, the center of protector must be on point O, of course. And now from B, I have to come 90 degree clockwise direction. It means I will come here. So point B will be in this direction and the distance will be same as OB, which is five square away. It means it will come here five square okay, in this direction. So this one was the direction. It will come here. So this one is B. One and as we said, O will remain same. Now you can join these points. And you will say that this triangle is rotated 90 degree clockwise. Okay. Now we can pass to B. We have to rotate this figure 90 degree anti-clockwise about the point O. So point O is here. When the point is outside of the figure, you can draw some segments from each point of the figure. So uh, you can have a help to measure the angles. Okay, so I will draw this segment, which will help me, or let's make it another color. Okay, these segments will help me to measure the angle 90 degree. So you will draw a segment from each vertex of the figure. Okay, from this one, I will measure the angles in this way. Okay, now the direction is anti-clockwise. It means it will be in this direction, in this way. I have to keep the protector or to see the angle, the movement 
of these points in this direction. Let's take the protractor. Okay, so I will start in order from, let's start from here. So this point in here must come 90 degree in this direction. It means it will be, where is 90? 90 is here. Okay, it will be in this position. So let's put a point to keep the direction. Okay, in this direction, I will have the point which will be 90 degree, but the distance must be same from O. So it is like two square diagonal. Okay, let's put the point. It is in this direction. It will be like, Okay, here. So this point will come here, 90 degree. The same thing, let's perform for others. So 90 is in this direction here. The distance will be kept same. So it is one, two, five. Okay, so the point. Ninety degree. It is this. The point will be here. Okay, let's clean the others. Oops. Now we'll come to this point. Okay, 90 degrees in this direction. As you see, I'm not measuring, okay, from to measure starting here and go in this side. If it is 90 degrees, it will go like this, clockwise. Anti-clockwise means start from the point and go in this direction with the protector. Okay. So again, we have to measure the units. It is five units so this direction it will come here this point will be in here in the same way we'll measure this one again 90 degrees in this direction It is two square away. So doing this one have to come two square away, two square away. It has to come here. Okay, and the last point. Okay, 90 degrees is 
in this direction here. This is one square, so it will come here. Now, if we join the points, Okay, so this figure is rotated 90 degree uh, anti-clockwise from point O. This one will be the result of, of the figure. Now, another exercise from your workbook. We have to draw the triangle ABC with the vertices 101330, and then we'll rotate it uh, 90 degree anti-clockwise about the point zero minus one so first let's plot the point we have one zero it means this point uh, one three the point in here and three zero okay so we have this right triangle in here this is the triangle abc uh, rotate 90 degree about point zero minus one. So zero minus one is this point here. Okay, let's say this one will be the point O of rotation. And here I have A, B, and C. Again, we'll need the protector to measure the angles. Okay, but before Coming to this one, I will draw some line, lines which will help me to measure the angles. Okay, so I will have to draw these lines. So from OA, OB, and OC. The direction is anti-clockwise it means i have to measure the angles in this direction or i have to see the movement in this direction so let's come let's start with point b so first we have to put the protector So as we see 90 degrees in this direction, okay, in this direction, we must keep the same distance. Okay, so point B will come here. It is four units away, point B. will come here, U1. Okay, so we can see if we join this line with this line in here, and this angle must be 90 degree. Okay, let's perform the same thing for the other two points. So let's continue with A. Okay, so 90 degrees in this direction. And here. The distance must be kept same. So A will come here. A, one. Again, if we join O with O1, you'll see that this angle in here is 90 degree. Okay, 
Now let's measure angle C. So 90 degree is in this direction. Okay, as you see. So the distance must be kept same on two, three, so it will come here. C1. Now we can join the points. So the rotated figure will be this one. Okay, uh, so that's all for today. You are going to solve exercise one on your uh, workbook. Of course, on your class notebooks, you'll draw the figures and perform the rotations. Uh, so have a nice week.